two, one, and... And run! This is the sequel to When Love Happens, where my character Mo found love, and we see a journey of what happens after she finds love. I don't want to tell you much more than that, but some other people find love as well. Um, it started really during the, the making of the first film um, a few years ago, and I had the idea of trying to explore where these characters would be, giving them, put them in another circumstance, see where, basically like if we met the characters at another time and wanted to see where their lives are at and what they were getting up to. And that's kind of where the inception of the idea started to kind of come from. Trying to see like if we met them, what they'll be doing. Uh, would they would this be the live happily ever after situation, or could something else have happened? And I think this film really has a different kind of energy in that it's n not as much as a boy meets a girl and will they fall in love kind of romantic comedy, more of what will not keep them together because life happens and with life comes chaos. So that's essentially the, the premise of this film when it happens again and um, hopefully you'll be enjoyed and you go check it out in the movie theater. She, Baba Takwe, mentioned he was doing Dose, part of the movie. We spoke, we gisted, we discussed and Jennifer came about. To be honest with you, I never saw this coming. Um, the director, Shei Babatoko, has always, I mean, we play basketball together, and he's always said to me, you know, I'm going to get a role for you sometime, someday. This wasn't the role he was talking about, and it just happened that I actually fit the role. And, you know, this, that, right here. Um, I get, I get a, a lot of, um, a lot of requests and a lot of um, a lot of people that ask me for advice and a lot of usually a lot of it's from actors and some from filmmakers who ask like how do you get into the business how do you can I be your next film or what's it like making a film I want to do this I think every filmmaker that is out there I mean I think the one advice I can give you is is grow um, you don't have to come out the gates and be a ready-made product. I think that pressure on yourself is really not needed. I think a, some of the filmmakers that I personally admire, that I have looked at their careers and you know learned something from, from the first time they picked up a camera to where they are now, you can see an evolutionary. Um, an evolutionary track that shows growth. I think what's most important is what do you have to say to the world? When Love Happens Again I think is more funny. I would say that definitely. And it just helps you see the characters as more rounded people rather than just single-minded people. If that makes sense. Okay, first I had time um, to discuss the character with Shay, you know. He had time to you know, explain to me what he wanted me to do with the character and um, he was fine by me. You know, he also gave me the freedom to be myself. He, he just said to me, rough, just have fun, be yourself and make it work. And um, I think I did, I did my best. And this is about like the best I've done so far as an actor, you know, not as a stand-up comic. So um, I really can't wait to see Watch Myself and I really cannot wait to, for you at home to watch this. Just trust me, this is coming. Hard. Now, getting into character was, um, it wasn't that difficult because I always imagined I would be, um, at some point in time, uh, a billionaire um, that would be able to, you know, do whatever he wants. Um, on this set, uh, the character Demi Lade Adinoga came to me easy, um, but the mannerisms that I would say Mr. Shei Baba Tokwe had a great hand in putting me straight and um, I'll just leave you to judge how I portrayed the character on the movie because when love happens again, is a must see.